Gary Wilson for a couple of weeks, came back. How frustrating was it kind of sitting on the sidelines back from the lads? Yeah, it's tough, you know, for the last few weeks. Um, picked up an injury and like you said, like that's that sums it up, it's just frustrating and you're sitting there and you you can't be involved, like you know what I mean? You're um you're you're kinda not as much involved in and training and all that, you know, you have to do all your own stuff rehab wise and you're um kind of away from the group a little bit like so it's frustrating but um two games there now, got sixty five against Rovers, thirty five last night, so um picking up match fitness now and then nearly there. So you're close to hundred percent? Yeah, definitely now um good couple of days training last week, as I said into the Rovers game. Uh, solid game into the la uh, last night's game, 35. Um, so, yeah, there they are about anyway. How's life been on the John Cotter so far? Brilliant, yeah. yeah. He's great to be honest. Um, you know, his relationship with all of us is um, unreal, like, you know, so we all we all relate to him, we can all chat to him, you know what I mean? Doors open, we go in, we say whatever the I suppose line of communication is brilliant. Um, and then just on the training ground, it's all positive. Uh, everything we're doing now at the moment, I know like results probably rovers last night doesn't look so great, but um, it's definitely it's hard to it's hard to around the outside looking in, but being in here, it's definitely going in the right direction. Like you know, we're just um, we're we're there, but we're not there. We're just there's a little bit more work to do, and then I think like things don't happen overnight. You know what I mean? It takes a couple of weeks to get things together and get a team together and a, a way of playing and stuff. And um, you know, we're taking all the boxes. I think it's just um. I suppose for me being in here, it feels like it's on the cusp of it and um, nearly back at it, you know. Mm. That's how I'd like to like Colin Healy as a coach in your position and Ben as a coach of defenders must be really beneficial. Yeah, it's quality. Um, we'll be saying all the time there, like, you know, as a midfielder for me, like, you know, if, Keel if Healers comes and puts a demand on me, I know he's, he's, he's never going to ask anything that he knows that like a midfielder couldn't do or shouldn't be doing, you know. He's always gonna put the demand on me that he knows this is realistic, like you you need to be doing this, like this is where you this is your capable of this and as a midfielder you need to be doing this and you know, even showing for the ball in places that you might think should I be showing there or whatever, he'll make sure you know, like listen, you need to be in there giving him an option. Um and you know, he's done it at a ridiculously high level, so um everything he says for me being a midfielder is um spot on and it's it's great to have someone like that. In here, you know, I've looked up to him the whole time as, as a, you know, as a player I played with, and then now stepping into the manage management side of things, and I'm, I'm sure it's the exact same for the defenders. You know, you see Benno taking the lads aside and giving them, uh, you know, going through what they need to be doing and stuff like that, and that's, you know, they can relate to that. He's a, he's a defender, you know, they know he knows what he's on about mm -hmm. straight away. And even as you say, these are early stages, but you can see you're getting the ball down the deck. It's going through midfield a lot more, which must be kind of a bit of a change, I suppose, and it's kind of. Um, exciting, I suppose. Yeah, you know, like like I said, no, it's from the outside looking in. It, and if you don't pick up the results straight away, like the last two games, or whatever, it can be hard to see. But being in here and being involved in it, it's everything is going in the right direction. And um, for me as a midfielder, like I don't know, I haven't seen stats or anything like that. But I'm showing my, you know, getting on the ball has been in the last the few games I've played has been far more than what I probably would have. Like you know, so we're definitely playing the right way, and I think. Um, it's just adding to it now, just putting, I suppose, putting the goals on the end of it, and um, I think happy days, like you know. It's been a big problem in the car, getting the goals, and like I suppose, really frustrating for you because you were chipping in with the goals, and when you were playing, and you got a run of form, you were scoring goals, so usually frustrating in that department. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, like you know, like I said, the lads have we've been working on it, you know, and I suppose you can't just. It's been gradual, you know. We've been we've been doing things in the right way, like in training, and I think we're probably just at a stage now where we're we're getting around to, you know, um, sorting out when the ball gets in the box, and you know, just just getting on the end of things. And because to be fair, like in all the games, we've created a lot of chances. And um, even yesterday, like you know, a couple of times the ball just fly past the, you know, six yard box, whatever, like, and just no one's on the end of it. Um, I think it's just another. We're getting there. We're working on it, and I think as soon as we add that. Um, we'll kick on, you know. What's been the fr most frustrating? Like you've been around the team, around the league a long time, I suppose. Like what, as, with all the matches you've seen when you're out injured, have you identified anything? What's been the most frustrating thing about the results? You know, and the style of play, perhaps. Like, what, what stood out for you? In like this season in general, kind yeah, of thing. Like just this season, yeah. Well, like we've we've been out for for a long time. Like just. You know, looking at what's been the most frustrating part of the, the results. Yeah, the most frustrating part is, like I said, when you're in here and you're, 
you're seeing it on the training ground like and it's it's working it's coming off and it looks great and we're like right this is you know we're at it this is going to be great then it somehow sometimes it doesn't transpire to the pitch or else it does and we're just like you said we're not scoring goals um but the most frustrating thing is the like from the staff the players everybody involved the work that goes in is unbelievable like you know everybody's here from I don't know, like half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. You know, people don't be going home till sometimes when it's getting dark. You know, the shift that people put in. Um, I'd say we're the hardest working club in the league. You know, so for me, that's the big, the most frustrating thing. I think where we're doing everything right and it's just didn't seem to be coming off. You know, as I said, sometimes it didn't transpire to the pitch, um, and that happens. Um, you know, you have seasons like that, like where it just doesn't. You know, it just doesn't click or whatever. But like I said, I think um, in the last the last few weeks. I think we're getting there, like as Rory was saying, you know, where it's it's good to be involved in the football, it's good. Um I just think we just need to add add goals to the add goals to that game and um, and we're there, like, you know. Yeah. And we're not that far away from it either, you know. It's just yeah. I suppose it's just a a presence of mind to know to like the ball's gonna be in the box, like I need to be on the end of it, you know, from me being a midfielder, the wingers, the strikers, you know, just knowing making that conscious effort to get in the box because if you're not in there you're not gonna score goals, you know. So we can have all the build up play we want. But at the end of the day, we need we need someone to you know someone to get on the end of it or someone to take a risk. Mm. Obviously, looking at the table, guy like eight in the table, which doesn't make for good reading. Like, do you think there's a danger getting sucked in, or do you think you're just one one away from kicking on again? Uh, yeah, like that. Like, there's always a danger of being sucked in. But like, uh, for me, being in here and looking at it, I think um, everything that we're doing in here, I think, is going to. We're probably going to get the the fruits of it soon, sooner rather than later. I would think from where we are now, like you know. So I would say that going into the Pats game and in the Sligo game, I think um, th there could be uh, could be massively positive for us those two games, you know. And then you're going into the mid-season break or whatever, and um, your whole season could be flipped on its head, like you know. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah, there's not much between the two teams, like going on the two matches of the season between ourselves and Pats here. Yeah, I know there's not, you know, like we get minority goal up there, they hold on to it. Um teams do that, like, you know, they they can do it, but um that's what happened up there and uh, fair play to them. But I think um like I said, the work we've been doing and the players we have now in the dressing room at the moment and the the feeling in the camp, um I think this is a different game that we're going into on Friday, you know what I mean? Yeah. You left them off the hook a bit like in the home match, didn't you? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent, you know, and like I said, that's just adds to the frustration and stuff, but um, it's a different space. Um, it's we're coming at it from a different angle, and I think um, I feel really positive, even from going into the week. Now, like, you know, starting the week uh, today and training with all the lads tomorrow, Thursday, and then going and play Friday and putting um, put in a performance that I'd be I'd be confident in. Okay, we're, we're talking to John about <coughs> trying to get the loans extended for Kevin and uh, James Tilly. How important would that be to the, going forward? You know, for the rest of the season, really. Yeah, massively. Like you know, that's I suppose that's that's uh, that can be tough. You know, when players when they're coming into form and they come and go like that. Loan players, especially. Um, but uh, like Tilly and and Kev, you know, I think they have they started off kind of stone off, just getting the feel of it, and I think they've gone from strength to strength now. Like you know, two of them are playing them really well, and um, I think um, they're huge players for us at the moment. So I think if they can get that done, all the better. You know. But if not, you deal with it, and you you know you you have enough you have enough in the group to to you know go and make a season of it still, you know. Yeah, 